are to stand up by word and deed against those false teachers that proclaim false doctrines and teachings. In your whatever country you may find yourself in. False doctrines and false teachings of evolution and atheism. False doctrines and false teachings of Islam and Muslim faith, Mormonism, Jehovah's Witnesses. Communism, socialism, Marxism. Personality type cults. Dictators or rule. Dictators or infallible. No angel. Or saint is God. There is only one God. His name is Jesus Christ, who reigns and rules over his loyal subjects of the faith. Verse 5. The law is not made for a righteous person, but for those who are lawless and rebellious, for the ungodly and sinner, for the unholy and the profane, for those who kill their father or mother or murder. Mother for murder. Sodomites, kidnappers, liars, and prejudiced, and or else is contrary to sound teaching. And of course, for them, during the first century, it was the teachers of the law, the Sadducees, and the Pharisees. And those who had hybrid theology like Galatianism, where they taught that in order to be saved or to be made a right standing for before God is to keep the moral, civil, and ceremonial law perfectly. But we know from reading scriptures that what you know one can be made acceptable by keeping the law or be saved by keeping the law or to be made in right standing by keeping the law is by grace through faith alone because none of us are perfect, none of us are holy, we fall short of that glorious standard. The purpose of the law is to be a mirror to those people to show them that they are uh, unsaved, lost, spiritually dead, sinners and condemned to spiritual and eternal hell, and that they need to repent of their sins, turn to Christ and accept them as Lord and Savior. That is purpose of the law. The purpose of the law is not to save you or make you right standing, but to lay down instructions on how to live a godly and holy life. for those who are right or doing right it's for those who are not and if
if a, if a believer or an unsaved person is doing is not doing right, and the law serves a pur purpose to convict men of their sins, so they repent of their sins turn to God and accept Christ as the Lord and Savior and move on to living a godly and holy life. Because if you're born again and saved and you're law, of course, the moral and civil law, of course, is for the born-again believer because it lays down standards by which we must live by. But none of your efforts of keeping the law can make you saved or acceptable to God. You're saved by grace, justified by faith alone in Christ Jesus, saved unto works, not meritorious works. under the blood ordinances, the ceremonial law that's been done away with in the first century because Christ came and fulfilled the blood ordinances we are to stand up through our word and deed as people of faith in the Lord stand up for, for the truth and expose false doctrines and false doctor false teachers and doctrines that are going to lead people astray and enslave them to word and deed to shed light in the darkness to bring forth the truth to expose the false with the 